Do you guys want to join us? Yes, but only if you're treating. <laughs> there were only three. A blonde girl. If print journalism is dead, what am I doing here? The blue and gold isn't dead, Juggy. It's just dormant. But waking up? You're writing a novel, right? About Jason Blossom's murder. I'm hoping you'll come right for the blue and gold. Would I get complete freedom? I'll help. And I edit and suggest, but it's your story. It's your voice. Doesn't sound like complete freedom, but my man. Okay, great. Um, in that case, I have your first assignment. Wait. Ready to enter the belly of the beast? That was the best I could do. Hey there, Juliet. Nurse off duty. Awesome. What? The car. Wow. That's what you're thinking about in the middle of our moment? What if whoever killed Jason's coming after her next? Hey, you didn't have to walk me home. Uh, there's a killer on the loose. Remember? Besides, isn't this what... You know... What... People like us who have gone through what we've gone through do? What? Thank you. For walking me home. I'll call you later. Good night. I didn't do it, Betty. You have to believe me. Of course. I was with you, and I know who you are. Well, those Paradise Lost kids went to death row because they wore black and they listened to Metallica. I don't want to become a scapegoat. I'm not going to let that happen. <sighs> All the evidence against you is circumstantial. We're gonna get you out of here. You're sweet to be here. I know this isn't exactly your scene. What? Organizing a baby shower? It's totally on my bucket list. I should have told you about my dad when I had the chance. So why didn't you? I was ashamed. Jughead, if we're gonna be together, I wanna know who you are. All of it. Okay. Okay. Do you believe him? I do. Do you? I believe you, Jughead. It's like, you know how in a time of crisis, people either come together or fall apart? It feels like we're falling apart. And the way things are going pretty soon, the Coopers, we're not gonna exist anymore and there's nothing I can do Betty, to stop that. Betty, don't do that. Don't give up. Your family is definitely splintering right now, but it won't fall apart because of you. Because you're holding them together. You're so much stronger than all of the white noise. You're stronger than your mother. 
You're stronger than your father. You're holding this family together. So don't. Don't let go. I won't. Hey, I was talking to Kevin, and he told me that you and Chuck had some scene in the cafeteria yesterday. It wasn't a big deal. What exactly happened between you guys that night? Veronica asked me to keep the details under wraps, okay? Yeah, all right. No worries. I only really asked because he made it sound like you were upset. No, if I was upset about anything, it was that I had to hear about your birthday from Archie and not you, Jug. Yeah, well, I didn't think you were an American werewolf kind of girl. Ooh, that's where you're wrong, Jughead Jones. I'm all about the beast within. If it's a double, why are you getting so upset? It's just a party, Jug. It's not just a party. It's the fact that you don't know or even care that this is the last thing I would want. You did this for you to prove something. Thanks. To prove what? You're a great girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't it ever occur to you just how different we are? Like on a cellular DNA kind of level? You're a straight A student. You're a cheerleader, for God's sakes. You're the perfect girl next door. I hate that word. I'm the damaged loner outsider from the wrong side of the tracks. Betty, come on. Who are we kidding? We're on borrowed time. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Betty, I'm not one of your projects. Okay? Like solving Jason's murder? No, you're not a project. You're my boyfriend. Until Jack. you're sick of slumming it with me? Or until Archie changes his mind and he says he wants to be with you? And all this time, I thought you were a lover, not a fighter. I'm both. I've got layers. You were doing something nice. It's just that sometimes when people do nice things for me, I short circuit. Maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe I'm scared. It's getting hurt, being rejected for being myself. I should have told you about Chuck, but I lied and Instead, threw you this party that you didn't even want. Why did you? Something is very, very wrong with me. Like, there's this darkness in me that's overwhelming sometimes, and I don't know where it comes from. But I think that's what makes me do these crazy things, like... That's why your mom invited my dad and I to dinner, so these two could break into his trailer while she interrogated him? No, I didn't know what they were doing. But yes, that is why she invited you guys. To think I was going to pass on moving to Toledo with my family for you. When we went to my dad's trailer, you asked me if I believed him. I said I did. Wasn't that good enough for you? It was. It was good enough. I didn't, I tried to stop her. You could have told me. You could have warned me about this. You were so excited, Jug. I didn't want to disappoint you. So instead you lied. What happened in there? My second interrogation of the day. Don't know who's more of a dick, Keller or Weatherby. Don't listen to them. 
Everyone else is wrong. Your dad's innocent. We just need to prove it, Jug. Who killed him then? Eddie? Tell me. If it wasn't my dad, who killed Jason Blossom? He said he did it. And you know what? I've been waiting my whole life for that man to do the right thing. And I'm done. You should be too. Jack. As long as you're with me, or you're writing articles about me and my dad, trouble's just gonna keep coming at you from all sides. It was just one jerk. It's not just one jerk. It's Mayor McCoy, it's Sheriff Keller, it's Weatherby, it's social services. It's the entire multiverse telling me that I don't belong here, so why don't I just do everyone a favor? Hey, hey. You belong here just as much as everyone else. This is your home. You know that, right? Yeah. Yes. I didn't tell you ahead of time because I knew you would have tried to stop me. Damn straight. And I'm still gonna try. Eddie, the south side is where the powers that be want me. Maybe I want to be here as well. I may blend in better here. I want to keep you safe. I'm not letting Riverdale's civil war split us apart, Jug. Wow, great I cleaned it up after Sheriff Keller thrashed it. Just in case my dad. Until he gets out, I'm not giving up on him, Chuck. Oh no. That is why I love you, Benny. I love you. Betty Cooper. I love you. Is that your mom? Who else would it be?